kids, it's Miss Sasha. Welcome back to art class. I'm super excited to be here today. Today we're going to talk about some things that make living in Louisiana super special, specifically blue crabs. We are going to learn some fun crab facts and we're going to learn how to draw a crab using simple directions, lines, and shapes. Louisiana is the southeastern state that's a true melting pot of cultures. We have French, we have African, we have French Canadian, and modern American, all in one area. It's famous for its unique Creole and Cajun culture, the food, jazz music, Mardi Gras festivals. You can find fishing, state parks, and the New Orleans Saints. The Atlantic blue crab species is the main species of crab caught and harvested in Louisiana. Crabs are crustaceans. Crabs have been a part of Louisiana's culinary heritage and our Louisiana lifestyle. Well, what is culinary? Well, culinary relates to the kitchen or someone's cooking skills. We have crab boils in Louisiana. You have to have good culinary or cooking skills in order to make the perfect crab or crawfish boil, right? Um, well, what is a crustacean? Any good guesses? A crustacean is a large group of mostly water animals like lobsters, crawfish, or shrimp with a body made up of segments, a tough outer shell, two pairs of antennas, and limbs that are jointed. Crabs are also known as being invertebrates or animals without backbones. We are, we have a backbone, so we are called, we have a vertebrae, right? Crabs are decapod, decapod crustaceans, which have a short tail and are covered with a thick shell or an exoskeleton and are armored with a single pair of claws. You see our crab up here? Look at this, this is his crab claws right here. So where do crabs live? Well, crabs are known as bottom dwellers. That means they live on the bottom. So an adult crabs are found in the mud flats and shallow water off of the Gulf of Mexico or to even up to the grass beds and almost all the fresh water around South Louisiana. They often hide in structures such as marshes or seagrass, um, even in oyster reefs. They often hide in structures such as, uh, like I said, the oyster reef, or they bury themselves in soft mud bottoms for protection from the predators, right? Um, they have to kind of blend in a little bit, find a safe spot, right? So what do you think crabs eat? You have any good guesses? Blue crabs are known as opportunistic eaters. That means they eat whatever food is available. They're not very picky with what they eat. So the young crabs, they'll feed more on like plankton and more like algae and plankton, whereas the juveniles or the adults will feed on small fish, bivalves, which is like oysters, crustaceans, and lots of different plant material or really anything they can find. So if humans discard food in the water, the crabs would probably eat on that too, right? Um, some things that might hunt a crab would be a shrimp or jellyfish, larger fish, right? Um, and other plankton eaters will feed on the larva of the blue crab. So the smaller crabs is the larva is what these animals will sometimes feed off. And a number of commercial and sport fish, turtles, birds, alligators, they'll prey on the juvenile and the adult and the adult blue crabs. So they're hunted by a lot of different animals, right? So that's why they have to be safe and find grasses or mud, different maybe things that are rotting in the earth that they can hide under, right? So the supplies we're gonna need today is going to be one white piece of paper and we're gonna need a black crayon, blue, green, and red. So now is a good time to pause your video, gather all your supplies, and we'll get started. Now that you've gathered all your supplies, I want you to put everything down in front of you. We're going to warm up our little fingers and we're gonna get ready to draw our blue crab. Okay, everything's down, give me a thumbs up. Here we go, 
Let's do a little bit of finger warm up, one hand, maybe the other hand, maybe some back and forth like windshield wipers, backwards and forwards, side to side. Maybe shake it out, shake it out. Maybe do one finger at a time. Match your hands up and maybe do some sit-ups or some push-ups with your hands, right? You got it? Maybe fist into a wrist twist and you can even go around and around, good. Can you think of anything else? I'll let you decide something to warm your own hands up, but make sure you keep your hands to self when we're doing this, right? Wiggle, wiggle. Once you think your hands are nice and warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and put our piece of paper in front of us, just like this. It is horizontal or wide, right? Horizontal or wide, because we have a wide crab. Good, and we're gonna fold our paper in half. So once your paper's in front of you wide, I want you to get the bottom corner, the paper that's by your belly, fold it up, let your corners meet, and press. If it's not perfect, that's okay. No big deal. Then you put your paper nice and flat, and we're gonna draw a crab together. We're gonna do one step at a time. Don't go ahead of me. I know it looks like it could be complicated, but we're gonna do different lines and shapes and directions. As long as you stay with me, you'll be just fine. And guess what? It's okay if your crab isn't perfect or just like mine. We're learning, right? We're gonna get better if we keep practicing. Go ahead and get your black crayon. Blue crabs have a hard upper shell. They're typically brownish blue or green in color and it narrows into like a sharp little edge. You see how this is narrowed? These have little points, right? And um, underneath the crab, it's usually white. But since we're drawing the top of the crab, we're gonna make him blues and greens with a little touch of red, okay? All right, let's get started. Find your middle crease. We're gonna draw this line right here, okay? On that line, I want you to draw a horizontal line, okay? Our crawfish, our crab is gonna be bigger than this line, so don't make it from side to side, it's in the middle, okay? All right, once you have that there, I want you to put a wavy line above it and a wavy line below it. Not longer, about the same length, okay? Perfect, got it? All right, we're gonna do this curve line above what we have already drawn, okay? Watch. You can put a little dot on this side and on this side if that will help you. It's not close to my line, it's got a little bit of space. And then watch what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a curved line, watch. It's gonna go up above and over to the other dot. Got it? We've done curved lines a lot, so you should be really, really good at curved lines, okay? All right, the next line we're going to make is gonna be a horizontal line underneath these wavy lines. Watch, I'm giving it enough space. It's just a line, it's not long, it's not very long, okay? Above that line, I want you to put a curved line Great. And now we're gonna make two diagonal straight lines to close our crab's shell up, okay? Watch, from our dot to the end of its line, look. Diagonal. Remember, crabs are symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. They're the same on both sides, watch. Okay. You see our crab's shell is coming together? At the end of this little line, crabs have like some texture or something, a way something feels is texture. So in order for it to look like it has texture, we do different lines or shapes on our shell. On this one, I did like a swirly line just to show texture. I know it kind of looks like his eyes and then his shell looks like it's angry, right? But that's just his shell's texture we're adding to our picture, okay? 
So go ahead and you can add two swirls on the inside of your shell. Okay. We're going to use our black a lot until we get to coloring it in. So just stay with me, okay? All right. We're going to start with our crabs. Little, we're going to put a little bump on each side right here so we know where our big claws are going to go. Um, remember our crabs have segmented arms and they're kind of like ours and we're going to use our arms for reference. So they have like a shoulder, an arm to the elbow, and an arm to the wrist. And so we're going to draw different segments to our crabs legs. Okay, right here on this corner I want you to put a little bump on this side and a little bump on this side. Kind of looks like ears. I know it's silly, but we're gonna add to it, okay? Great. Underneath that bump, I want you on this slanted diagonal line, I want you to put another bump and another bump, or we'll call it a shoulder, okay? Down here at the bottom on the diagonal line, I want you to put another bump on both sides. We're going to save room for one right here in the middle. Look, one, two, three, four. I only have three right now, so I'm going to put another bump on both sides. Okay, those are his shoulders. He's got a lot of shoulders. Four. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and draw our big claws, right? You ready for that? They, the blue crabs have two large claws and three pairs of thin walking legs. And then one of his sets of legs has like a paddle at the end that he uses for swimming. You see this little paddle right here, right? So we have one, two, three, and one with a paddle. We're going to draw that paddle on our crab too. Okay, here we go. Let's do our big claws. Right above this shoulder, I want you to draw a line that's kind of pushing out to the side. It's diagonal. It's going to be his this part of his giant claw, right? This is the part of the claws that if you have a crab boil that you can eat. Okay, we're going to cover it with a little bubble. Watch. I'm going to start on his body. I'm going to go around it and right back down. I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm covering that little line with a little bubble or an oval, right? Okay, now we're going to make another line that's going to be like his elbow right here, okay? It's just going to go a little line that goes up, a little line that goes up, like a number one. You got it? And we're going to cover that little number one with a bubble also, watch. Bubble, bubble. We call things funny names when we're trying to learn how to draw things like crabs, okay? And we're going to make another line. This time it's going to go in. Watch. In. In. That's like this part of our arm. Okay? We're going to cover that with a bubble. Watch. Bubble. Bubble. Awesome. And we're going to make his big pinchers. Okay? You ready for this? Okay. We're going to make the letter V on both sides. Look. V. V. It's for his pinchers, right? His large claws. These right here. Okay. And we're just going to put a little half circle on each side of each. Watch. The one on the top. And the other one on the top. And do the same at the bottom. Pinchers. Easy. We're going to put some little zigzags in there because they do have like a little grip on there. So you can put a little zigzag on the inside of your claws. Okay. Awesome. We're going to work on our paddle legs. These are the ones at the bottom. So look at your shoulder parts on the bottom. Okay. Ready? We're going to make two lines. Watch. One on this side and one on this side. They kind of go out, okay? And we're going to cover that with a bubble. We're going to get good at this. Ready? Look. Bubble. 
It's not as big of a bubble as this one is because these are his little claws, right? His little legs. All right. And this time do a line that goes down like to a number 11 or a one and a one. And cover it with a little bubble. Got it? Perfect. Now we're going to make his paddles go in. So it goes a line in and a line in. Like they're trying to touch, but they're not going to hold hands. Okay? And this is our paddle. So it's more of a circle this time. Watch. Circle. Circle. Look at it. It's perfect. Look. We have our paddles. We have our big claws. All right, let's go ahead now, and I want you to put some tiny zigzags across the top of your crab's shell, just like they have right here, okay? And I want you to know something about their eyes. Their eyes are called compound eyes. That means they're made up of more than one individual eye. They move independently from one another without moving their body. They're actually on the top of a little, like a little stem almost. And that means their eyes, one can move the left, one can go right, one can go up, one can go down. That way they can see all around, right? The only other animals, like dragonflies and flies, they all have compound eyes also. But I don't think they move independently. They might. So let's make his little compound eyes. A little dot on this side and a little dot on this side. He has two little eyes, okay? They also have a little antennas. You can just do a little wiggle out like that. That's perfect for them. You know, they use those for sensing their environment or danger or feeling their way around, you know, different areas. You know, looking for mud, looking for grass. Right? So blue crabs can grow over eight inches wide. They can weigh up to one or two pounds and they only live for about one or th one to three years. So they don't get very old. Okay, let's go ahead and do our little legs. Let's start with the ones that are up here. Okay? We're going to do them in segments just like we did the other legs. Okay? Look. One, two, three. Okay? So this one, this guy at the top, I want you to do a little line that's kind of diagonal and it's straight. And then you're gonna put a little bubble around it. Okay, so let's move down to this shoulder. Okay, ready? This shoulder, a little one. We're gonna close it up by putting a little bubble around it. Perfect. Let's move down to this one. Let's put a little number one. And we're going to put a bubble around it or close it up. Right? So look, we did everything on this side. It's time to move to this side. We have to put the number one. Diagonal. What do we do next? If you said put a bubble around it, you're right, little bubble. Move down, put a little line, let's close it up or put a bubble around it. Good job. We have one more. Bubble, a line and a bubble. Okay, now we're going to add another segment to each leg. Watch, a little line and a bubble. Move down, a little line bubble. You know, crabs use gills to absorb oxygen from the water for breathing, and that's underneath down here. Okay, let's put another line and a bubble, and we'll move to this side. Ready? Line, bubble. Good. Line, bubble. Last one, line, bubble, perfect. Okay, at the end of each 
claw, we're going to put a tiny triangle. Watch me first. Ready? Look. Triangle, 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 triangle. Tri not on the paddle, not on the big claw, but the ones that we've been working on. Go ahead and put a triangle on each claw. The pinchers or the claws of the crab are their most important weapon. They have three functions. They use this big claws up here for catching and eating their food. Their pinchers can be used to open or break open the shell of like a mollusk or like a oyster, a clam, right? And they also are used to fight with their other other people that are trying to get into their space, right? And they also use them for signal, signaling other crabs, maybe where the good food is or whatnot, okay? So let's go ahead and grab our red crayon. So depending upon whether or not it's a male or a female crab, some, some of them will have red on the ends of their um, claws, and some of them will have a little bit more blue. Some of them are a little bit more purple. We're just gonna do reds, blues, and greens, okay? So get your red, and with your red, I just want you to color the little triangles in on the ends of your crawfish's little feet, those six little triangles that we had, okay? Perfect. And you can, you can add a little bit of red on him, maybe his big claws on the edges. Don't color it in red. And maybe a little bit on the end of your paddle foot, okay? Perfect. So I'll give you a second to add in a little bit of red on yours, okay? Um, the scientific name for the blue crab is a mixture between Greek and Latin words, and it means beautiful swimmer, which is perfect, because crabs like to swim, right? Crabs can walk forward, backward, and even sideways when they want to move faster. Some crabs also have the ability to swim backwards and sideways. That's crazy, huh? They can go any which way they want, okay? Let's go ahead and get your green crayon, and we're just going to add a little touch of green. Maybe you go at the top edge of your, of your um, shell. Maybe you do it on some of his little shoulders, what we call his shoulders, or maybe at the bottom, right? You might go in the corner of his shell right here. I didn't add too much. And then maybe some more on the paddle. Go ahead and add some green to your crab. And notice that I didn't do a background on my crab because I wanted to let you go ahead and do a background. You could put it in, in the mud, you could put it in the grasses, you can put it with cattails, you can draw him swimming in the water. I just wanted to give you the option of what to do on your background, right? And once you know how to draw a crab and you keep practicing, then you can teach somebody else how to draw this amazing blue crab, okay? Go ahead and add your green. Crabs have teeth, but they're in their stomach, and they use them to grind just like we do so we can break up our food, but theirs is more in their stomach. I don't understand, but that's what it says, right? Crabs work together like as a group to gather food and to protect their little family, so they don't like to hang out alone. They like company. And there's over 6,000 different types of crabs they go from hermit crabs to snow crabs, horseshoe crabs, fiddler crabs, and the list goes on. All right, go ahead and get your blue, and we're going to start coloring in our crab. Now remember, don't press hard with your blue crayon so you can come back and add some fine detail. Watch, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I color lightly with my blue, then I can come back and add a darker blue on the edge. You see how I did that? I did light and then I add dark. I'm going to color lightly and then I might add some dark up here, right? Maybe these claws will be dark. If I color it dark, then I can't come back and add detail, okay? So I'm going to color my claws up here dark, but I'm going to color lightly on his arms so I can add dark detail. You see that? You try it. Go ahead and color in your blue crab's claws, his big ones. Uh, 
right? We can keep coloring. He is a blue crab, so we're going to have mostly blue. See that? So I'm going to leave my shell for last because I want to make sure I don't color too hard. I want to add some detail to my shell. Looking good so far, huh? Bet you didn't think you could draw this crab. But if you break it down into lines and shapes and directions, you can do it. Alrighty. When I go to color in my crab shell, I'm going to color really lightly. I want to show you, this is a group of people crabbing, right? They get on the side of a bridge or a dock or um, by some water, right? And this is a crab trap. This is two different kinds of crab traps. And you kind of throw it out there and you add some different like turkey meat or chicken and you tie it on to the inside and the crabs go in there and then you pull the net up. And then you're, you'll have crabs in there, right? This is the underside of a crab. Remember we said it was kind of white? This is close-up crab. He's got some brown on him, right? And this is a shell, just like we did. This is a bunch. This is someone holding him. I put this person here so you could see how big this crab was, this little kiddo right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some detail to my crab by adding some darker blue here and there, maybe on the edge, right? You can choose however you want to color it in. You can color in your little zigzags. So yeah, you can do it whatever, however you want. Look at that. Doesn't like that look great? So today was really awesome. We learned about what makes living in Louisiana special specifically our Louisiana blue crab. We learned some fun crab facts and we drew a crab using some simple directions, lines, and shapes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a great day.